Sagittarius and hi to Sagittarius Sagittarius's person because it's going to be behind the scenes on your person Sagittarius so whoever you're dealing with or whoever you maybe want to deal with right you have some type of relationship with them maybe it's a past relationship uh, yeah maybe you slapped them in the face last night it's just going to depend <laughs> Hope you guys are all well, and let's see here. These readings are general. They may or may not resonate with your person. And also uh, Sagittarius person, Sagittarius herself or his self, himself, not his self, himself, could be showing up in the reading, okay? You guys know I'm a stickler for bad English, right? <laughs> see what we have. Page of Swords showing up at the bottom of the deck and the Seven of Cups. Your person is confused about a decision they want to make. If they want to end the situation and heal it with you, this is clear. Ten of Swords, Star card. Mm -hmm. This is way clear. I feel like this could be has could have been going on for a long time. The Nine of Cups is in the reverse. This means that they want to kind of, you know, make you their Nine of Cups in the upright. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's in the reverse too because this already looks like a third party to me. <coughs> let's see here Sagittarius right now uh, the death card is at the bottom of the deck so they're thinking about ending it with somebody right now they are in the Queen of Pentacles energy they probably are an earth sign and the Queen of Swords is crossing them yes I feel like they're totally trying to discern a decision about trying about coming forward maybe to reconcile it with you three of cups I feel like the reading is over like, we don't even need to continue here, right? Because it's already clear what's going on in the reading. Yes, it is. Ace of Cups. Sometimes these readings are like, yeah, they can be a little, yes, they can be a little confusing. Reading for a whole bunch of people at one time, yes. Mm -hmm. Private readings are not confusing. No, they are not. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Your person in their emotional concerns is the Page of Wands. Maybe they fear that you've moved on here. This is walking away. It's in the reverse. They could fear that maybe you'll walk away from them. They look like they want to reunite with you, your person. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And in their desire is the Ten of Swords. They want to end the situation with somebody else. Yeah, they do. This is not with you, Sagittarius. I don't think it is. No. Mm -mm. Maybe some of you guys, maybe your person is trying to end it with you. But this is their reading, and I'm just looking at this reading kind of like, uh, yeah, they are wanting to end it with somebody else. This is the feeling I get. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is their energy. Why is she there holding up her giant coin? Like, wow, I'm, I'm a badass. I make a lot of money. Mm-hmm, right? Like, first and foremost is my money. <laughs> okay, we know there are people like that. Yeah, earth signs are under their money. Yeah, they are. I feel like that's why it's good to have earth in your chart <laughs> right for your own stability <clears throat> and the nine of ten of cups and the nine of cups wow this decision could be between a family and you i feel like you are their nine of cups because look here it's in the reverse here and in the upright here crossing them is the queen of swords they're trying to discern a matter yes they are why do they have that queen of swords Eight of Swords, Emperor in the reverse. Yeah, your, your person, if this decision is between a family dynamic and you, Sagittarius, they feel like they have no control or no power, like they don't feel empowered about this decision. I feel like it is a decision with Judgment, the Page of Swords, and now the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Maybe there's an Aries here. You could be dealing with somebody who is controlling and they like to be in control and they feel like they are not in this situation. Yeah. The emperor in the reverse, right? Kind of reminds me of that saying, who died and left you, boss, right? <laughs> this is what we got. The people who, like, who work with people they can't stand or people who work with like people who are in charge that are just on a power trip, right? Who died and left you in charge, right? Like shit, like you can't even really run the place and uh, 
Yeah, you must have only gotten here because somebody passed away. <laughs> Love that one. And the Three of Cups is... You can't run the place and you could be on a power trip too. Three of Cups is why it's all happening for your person. I feel like they are this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles right here. Yeah, they are. And the Wheel of Fortune, this is you, Sagittarius. See, this is what I'm talking about. They want to reunite with you. I feel like they can't make up their mind. Page of Swords in the reverse. It could be, it's possible they did make up their mind. I don't think so with the Seven of Cups next to Judgment. No, they can't. I feel like in the past, for some of you guys, they could have already made up their mind, and now they have, you know, they're on this back and forth situation. Like, well, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Because here they look like they're trying to discern a situation. They could be, it's possible they have made up their mind, but they're confused if they could make it work with you. Yeah, that could be the case too. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is, it is about a hard choice. Yeah, it is. And in the past, they have the eighth Ace of Cups. And this is uh, a brand new beginning in love. Yes, it is. The Dove is here. Uh, all about new beginnings. And I don't know what she's carrying. For me, this is the cross on a medallion. Or uh, what he or she is carrying. Yeah, I really kind of want to know. I'm sure it is something classic. Could be from the Bible. I feel like it is from uh, way back in the day because these cards are way back in the day. Yes, they are. This is <clears throat> in the past here. Why do they have the Three of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. Maybe they already made a decision to be single here in the past. Yeah, that could be the case. And they could be confused. Maybe if you will heal it with them. Like if you're going to reciprocate. And this is what I'm saying over here. They could be discerning the matter. Like if they could really get control of the situation. The emperor in the reverse. Queen of Wands. This is you Sagittarius. All right. With your yellow dress on. You look a lot better in this deck. Yes you do. Look like you, you know, you might go to the hairdresser now. <laughs> and the Empress is showing up, even though nobody can go now, right? Yeah, I know I need to go. <laughs> and the Empress and the Chariot is showing up. Wow. This is in the past. I feel like they made a decision, decision in the past to be single. But they're not sure. Yes, in the root. Yes, they're not sure if they can actually reunite with you. I feel like that's what that is. Like, get it in the bag with you. Wow. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, all in the past. Let's get a card on the Page of Swords. This is why it's all happening in the reverse. Justice. Oh, maybe they, yeah, wow. This is about a divorce, I think. Because judgment is over here. And judgment and justice in the same reading for me are about a divorce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like, you know, they could have gained clarity or they couldn't. It, it, but what is showing up here is that your person, <clears throat> I feel like you are their Ace of Cups and their Ace of Wands too. Yeah. Yes. In the past, this is showing up. It looks like they already made... No, they didn't know. Let's see. Why do they have the Ace of Cups? They were thinking about it. Yeah, there is no deciding card here in the past. Why is that Ace of Cups there? The Tower. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm not all the way on, you know. No, I'm not entirely. See, Two of Pentacles. This is their decision. Yeah, this is their, this is their reflection. They're going back and forth over it. They're trying to decide, let me get a handle on it, what do I really want to do, etc. So in the past, they were trying to figure out if they were going to end it, maybe with a Cancerian, to have a new beginning with you. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Wow. And become single. See, they're married. I was saying that. Yes, just, justice, not justness, justice and judgment. Crowning their thoughts is the Three of Wands. 
<coughs> Ten of Pentacles. This is crowding their thoughts. The Fool card. Yeah, they're thinking of letting this person fly free. Like, I'm going to give you your freedom here. I'm going to set you free. I'm going to take a leap of faith on Sagittarius here. And they're in a marriage here. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they are. Wow. And in the near future for them is the Four of Cups in the reverse. Why is that there? They look like they're opening the, up the, opening themselves up to new opportunities, right? This is like the opposite of rejection. Yeah, it is. Seven of Wands in the reverse. They look like they're giving up a fight and opening themselves up for an opportunity with you, possibility, laying down the competition. In this deck, it is that. Five of Wands. These people are sitting on the ground. Yeah, they are, and they're looking at the victor, right? And I don't mean victor like, you know, Victor Rosales or Victor Fernandez. I don't mean that. <laughs> they're looking at the victor, right? Let's see. Let's get another card. Four of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like they are opening themselves up to an opportunity, yeah, with you in the near future because... They know that an ending is, like, inevitable with the person they are with. I feel like that's what that is. Wow, Page of Wands is what they fear. It's in the reverse. Wow, let's see what this is about. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I feel, I feel, <coughs> they're afraid here that you're not going to put the work in, that you're going to walk away. Yeah, if they walk away from somebody else, this is what this is about. If you're going to walk away. Oh, I feel like what this is, is that they're afraid, yes, yeah. If What they're afraid of here is that if they walk away from their person, is it really going to work out with you? Yeah, that's it. Why is that the Six of Pentacles there, please? Knight of Pentacles, this is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Queen is here, right? Strength card. This is what they're fearing. Maybe if they could face it, if you turn them down, Wow. I feel like they're fearing, like, having the courage to actually <clears throat> come to you because they know things could maybe not work out. Nine of Cups. And they could be fearing, if they're dealing with a water sign, they could be feeling, maybe fearing this person will not be able to deal. Why is the Nine of Cups there? I don't know why I said water sign. I'm not really seeing any water sign in this reading yet. Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Nine of Wands in the reverse. They could be fearing here you're going to give up on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe you're just going to like walk away from them. Wow, I feel like if they come to you, they could be afraid that you're, like it's just not going to work with you. Wow, that you might just walk away possibly. This Two of Wands is in their environment. Seven of Swords and the Death card. This is in their environment. It looks like they're walking away from a situation and there's an ending. Looks like they're looking right at death. To me, in their environment here is moving forward with you. Let's get one more card, see if there's an analyzer there. <laughs> Why is there a death card there? High Priestess in the reverse. They're dealing with a water sign. <coughs> Who could be a Piscean or a Scorpio? Magician. Temperance, this is you. Yeah, I feel like they look like they're walking away here. And the ten of, ten, of, ten of Swords, rather, is what they want. Why do they want that? Yeah, they actually want an ending with this other person. I feel like they're trying to gain clarity here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they have the Seven of Cups. That's what this reading is about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just trying to gain clarity here. If they want to have a real ending with this person they're dealing with. Why do they have the Sun? For you, Sagittarius, King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is your Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And here they are at a stalemate about it, okay? For some of you guys, uh, I feel like in the past, this is a continuing, I feel like they had already made up their mind. But for some reason, they could be having fear here that it's not going to work out with you or maybe you're going to walk away. We're going to find out all about your person on Vimeo. And yes, we are. And they could have, they could have, maybe they are fearing here that you've already left. Like, Page of Wands in the reverse, it, like, like, 
Like you've already moved on. I feel like that's what this is. Yeah, you've already moved on. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, yeah, they feel like they can't work it out with you maybe because, you know, you've, you're you already gone, right? Like Kelly Clarkson sings. And we're going to talk about the underlying issues, how they really feel, Sagittarius, and the challenge of the block. And this is typically for you, though. And what they want, or what, I'm sorry, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and the actions they're actually going to take, okay? And I feel like I want to see myself. Thank you so much for watching. All the extended readings are super affordable. They always are. You can see all of them. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And if you need your own reading, it's always the best way. Thank you so much.